Hi guys! So today I'm going to show you a tutorial for these big old bouncy curls. Um, these are fairly tight. Okay, I know a lot of people like the loose curls, but there are days where I just want big, tight, just in your face kind of curly curly hair. So um, it's actually fairly easy and I'm doing this with clean hair. I just washed my hair last night. So, um, you know, there's it's there's no grease in it, so it's harder to get it to stay when you have clean hair. So I had to take a couple extra steps, but if you guys ever need to, you know, curl your hair after a night or a morning where you've had to wash it, then this tutorial is definitely for you. Um, I only used a few things, and they're all relatively inexpensive. Uh, I used the John Frieda Frizzy's Heat Defeat Protective Styling Spray. I put this mostly on my ends. Uh, because they're already kind of fried from bleaching them and I have a bunch of split ends so I need to go get a haircut but um, I've been using this for years and I really like it I think it does help quite a bit uh, and then I put this Garnier Fruity style Wonder Waves uh, wave enhancing spray in flexible I put this all over my hair before I did it uh, because like I said since it's clean it's a little bit harder for curls to stay but I I've been using this forever too. Um, this really helps when you have clean hair. It kind of gives it the curl a little something to stick to, without making it super hard because it's a flexible spray. And then I was um, kind of topping it off and just spraying this stuff all over the place. Um, this is the Suave Professionals Touchable Finish Hairspray, salon proven to hold as well as Sebastian. Um, I like this stuff. I think it does work really well. It does work like Sebastian does, except this was like maybe two dollars or you know versus Sebastian being like 15 bucks. Um, sorry, everybody knows. <laughs> sorry. Okay, so uh, I just use these three things and a couple of clips, like regular hair clips. You really only need one. I need two just for one certain part of my hair. Uh, and then I have the, oh, it's hot. <laughs> and then I use the um, the Chi curling iron. It's the one inch barrel. And I put it as high as it can possibly go, which is up to 200 degrees Celsius. So it's hot. It gets super hot, but I have really fine hair and I need heat. So um, I do suggest using a very high heat uh, curling iron, unless your hair easily curls. And then, you know, pretty much any old, you know, Conair hair curler or curling iron should work for you. So um, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, this is what it looks like when it's done. Obviously, you can do whatever you want, you know, with your bangs. I chose not to curl mine. Um, I rarely curl them. I kind of just like to throw it back. But, oh, and I put a couple hair extensions in just because um, my ends are one color right now. And the hair extensions are like a dark brown. And I kind of like the whole, like, chocolate uh, caramely swirl it does so um, let me know what you think in the comments don't forget to subscribe and if you're interested in my kind of dark vampy look I did on my face you know my eyes and my lips today let me know and I will gladly do a tutorial I just used a Lorac Pro palette and a lipstick um, and one of the Maybelline lipsticks so be sure to subscribe thumbs up if you like it and I will see you guys in my next video so here we go guys um, this is clean hair, like I said, so I'm just going to brush through it a few times, make sure there's not a bunch of knots in it, um, so I can get it ready to put my extensions in. So I only decided to use two wefts of hair. I wasn't trying to go too big as far as, like, the extra hair goes. Um, obviously, it's up to you guys how much you want to use. Uh, so I start by just, you know, putting one towards the bottom. You can tell that my extensions are such a different color, but as I mentioned, I really love the effect it gives it when I use a dark color with my light color like I think it looks cool it may not be your you know cup of tea so <laughs> go ahead and skip this part if you want to um, otherwise go ahead and put your extensions in before you get started and then go ahead and comb through it again and this is what you're gonna have so um I set my curling iron to 200 and while it was heating up I went ahead and used my Garnier Fructis uh wave enhancing spray I sprayed it all over the freaking place just all over make sure it's well saturated <laughs> and then use your frizzies heat defeat I realize that the bottle says straight but I only put it on my ends so I don't really think it affects the curliness all right so once it's nice and saturated and everything you're gonna want to 
take a layer from the bottom, clip the rest of your hair up. You'll kind of see me doing that here. Trying to get the knots out. <laughs> I do comb through it again because I like to um, have the hair extension combine with my natural hair so that my curls get a little bit of both. So here's me just combing through it. Got lots of nappy naps. I really hate that. I get a lot of naps now that um I dyed the ends. Ever since kind of bleaching them, my little naps have been coming out, and I so freaking hate it. So ignore me singing. Couldn't I couldn't stop. <laughs> I couldn't stop myself. So for these little pieces like this, like the ones that would be framing your face, um, you don't have to leave the curling iron on there for very long. It's really up to you. You kind of know your hair, I'm sure. Just make sure that you're curling away from the face. So you'll see me right here. Um, oh, my, my hair extension was coming out. <laughs> I had to clip that little, the little buggy back in there. Um, okay, so you'll see that when I grip my hair in the curling iron, I'm curling away from my face. And you're going to want to curl, there you go. You're going to want to curl them all away from your face. Otherwise, it, it just creates a better effect. It makes them bigger, and it makes it kind of look like, you know, the wind is, like, going through your hair. This is me counting to 10. For those of you, you know, who need the finger movements, usually about 10 seconds will do it for your curls. Um, I like to alternate how much hair I get in the curling iron. This is what it'll look like after you do one entire layer. And then you're going to want to spray it with your suave hairspray or whatever kind of hairspray you have on hand. I've just been using this one lately. I kind of like it. So just scrunch up your hair after you um, spray it down. I spray layer by layer. I don't spray while it's in the curling iron because I do not like my curling iron to get all gunky. And I, I see that this works just fine. So then you're going to do another layer. This is after my second layer. And for the last layer, you see me going like a mad woman and fast forward, but... I start to take it, after I do two layers across my head, I start to take it from the back. That way it covers up my hair extensions. I usually get four or five good curls out of the back, and it gives it a little bit more volume in the back. See, there's no extensions in this hair that I'm curling right now. But you'll notice I'm going away from my face with every single curl and combing through with every single curl. Because like I said, I have some naps and I don't like it, not one single, single bit. So after that, um, after I, I'm done with the hair behind, kind of like, you know, at the crown of my head, then I start attacking the hair right on top of my head. Um, you know, spray, continue to spray it down after every single layer. You don't have to do it after every curl. And then just kind of, depending on how you part your hair or, you know, if you part your hair really, uh, that's kind of how it's going to determine how, you know, you curl your hair on top. I like to do a few layers on top, though. I do like two or three curls on either side for each layer. That way it kind of just gives it a little bit more volume because uh, I have super, super, super flat hair and I didn't bother to mousse the roots because I wasn't looking to have, like, ugh, naps at the root of my hair and that's what mousse tends to do. So like I said, just go from side to side and just do however many curls you can get out of it. I usually get about two to three curls per side. And then it really depends on what I want to do with the front of my hair. Sometimes I clip it back. Sometimes I put in a headband. Um, with this one, I just decided to leave my bangs down. So when I take down my next layer, you'll see that um, I'm not including my bangs. So we're almost done guys. This is exciting. <laughs> uh, this hairstyle actually doesn't take very long. It might have taken me maybe 15 minutes to curl my hair. Um, there are plenty of faster ways to curl your hair and if you guys want to see any I could let you know. I mean having kids I am used to getting upstairs, getting my makeup on, doing my hair and getting down in like 20-25 minutes. Um, you know total including getting dressed and all that. So if you guys want to see a tutorial for how to, you know, do quicker curls, I'm all down for showing you. All right, so here after you curl, you're going to flip forward, come back, spray that sucker up, flip again, and we're going to be spray, 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 
there might be more room for you to spray some more. You're just gonna probably want to spray and spray. Oh, okay, and more spraying. <laughs> Um, and then just kind of mess with it until it gets to the point where, you know, you like it. You see me pulling on my bangs because they kind of do whatever the heck they want to do unless I blow dry them. And, um, hello, who has time for that? So I'm just going to flip my hair around and kind of pull them out. Now, here's the thing. You're not going to curl, or I'm sorry, you're not going to comb through your curls again. I know a lot of people like to comb through them and kind of you know, join them all together and make it wavy hair. If you want your curls to be curly hair, curly, curly, tight curls, do not comb through it. Don't start running, uh, running your fingers all through it. Don't start doing that. Just kind of let them be. Um, you see that you get a lot of volume like that. Just kind of, there, just pump your hair up. Try to look like a model like me, you know, just make a fool of yourself. <laughs> um, I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and it was helpful for you guys. Um, it's so easy to do. And it's so, like, I think it's so pretty. I like when people have real curls and it's not just wavy hair. Because, um, hello, I work with flat hair every day, all day, super straight. Like, curls like this, this is just like, this is hot. I love it. <laughs> so I hope this helped you guys and I hope you enjoyed my video. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video.